And you? Now, who has the ring, please? My dad. Is this the gentleman? Dad, the ring. Would you place it on the cushion, please? On the cushion. And on the cushion. Now, Roland, I want you to repeat this declaration after me. Roland? I never knew he was a Roland. Well, he can't have been christened Vaseline, can he? It's advertising. I do solemnly declare... I do solemnly declare... ...that I know, I know not, not any lawful, lawful impediment. impediment. Why I, Roland Oliver Cartwright... <laughs> Why I, Roland Oliver Cartwright... ...may not be joined in matrimony... ...may not be joined in matrimony... But I'll do the night, I'll pig him do. Ah, oh, well... You marry a fireman, you stupid cow. You're never bloody joined in anything. You never bloody see him. Excuse me, madam. You want lawful impediment, mister? He's one. And then, all of them. They have fancy women ringing 999 in the middle of the night just for a bit well, of you bloody... you to bloody know that's how you bloody nailed him in the first place, isn't it? Blue watch. Pig off. As detailed. What are you doing? One arm lift. Go. Pick your hands off me. Oh, no. Well, don't look at me. I didn't invite her. Can we get on with as little hysteria as possible, please? I have a Jew and a Catholic booked in at 12. And according to Bailey, he's called Vaseline because he's always got a bit on the side. Well, don't get it. Apart from always getting married. I still don't get it. Vaseline. Eat. Soap in my eyes. Towel. <sighs> Sick note, sick note, because he's the top skate. Always on light duties. Trying to work his ticket, really, according to Bailey. Because as soon as Bailey Bailey? He's a mess manager for the watch. I don't get it. He does the cooking. What is a Bayleaf? It goes in cooking. Yeah. Then there's Rambo. Well, according to Bayleaf, Rambo's... Oh, wow, there's a lot of according to Bayleaf, isn't there? How do you mean? Don't you get no fires to put out, you two? Apart from ethnic, he's the only one who said a word to me so far. Oh, yeah. Oh, for Christ's sake! Girl behind the counter at the job centre. She got a nickname. Little darling, we call her. Cos she ain't always blabbing on about bleeding bay leaves. Get it? I've got some bad news. I think you'd better brace yourself. I can't give you a sick note. Sorry? There's nothing wrong with you. Or well, anywhere. You know, just written time. It's something you'll have to learn to accept and live with. Yes, Doctor. Next. Have I told you about my headaches? Excuse me, are you there? I thought you were getting married today. I'll bit the Barney. Already? I'm not the wife. The wife of my other wife. First wife? Second. The first one's a customs officer in Hull, Yorkshire. Well, Amberside, they call it now. Oh, do they? <laughs> um... My husband... has decided to do his own gardening in future. Oh. Right then. No disrespect. Uh, uh. Um, excuse me for asking, but are you by any chance a fireman exactly? 
In what way? Oh, no, no. Well, it's just... Oh, thank you, anyway. You haven't got a quid you owe me, have you? Oh, I wouldn't insult you. Inquiry. Don't tell me. Have I had a television set delivered? That's right. Look, if I could afford the license, I'd have a television, all right? Have you had a TV delivered? Yes or no? This man understand English. Do you know anybody who has had one delivered? If I did, do you think I'd be stupid enough to tell you? What? Come on. I'd get my face cut before I even open my mouth. <laughs> it's not ordinary folks I'm looking for, you know. It's not even folks who live round here. I don't think you have a real job, you know. There's something weird. I reckon you have strip up west or something. Ah, you work beer time too. Yeah, well, they're dirty bosses up west, don't they? I tell you, man, there's something weird somewhere. Geography, is it? Is it? No. No, 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 no. Go this way. You want to answer literature? Do I? Excuse me, Bailey. You, uh, got a minute. Answer the literature then? You're right then, go on. What was George Sand's relationship with Chopin? Um, brother in law. She was his mistress. <clears throat> oh, that's Chopin. Well? I don't know. Guess. I never heard of Marlene Dietrich. All right, here you are then. I'll give you an hour. Oh, you can't do that. What's Frank Bruno got twice what Jimmy White's got? You were. Black, Black ball. balls. <laughs> Sorry. It's, uh, it's in the fridge, by the way. Sorry? The bacon. The bacon is in the fridge. Is that some kind of password? Hey? Pardon? From my mate, the uh, bacon contact. Ninety-one p. Might be even cheaper next time. Must be one hell of a mate. I only have to say the word. <laughs> 